rise, but he says he is confident declaring it a state of emergency will help the county keep it under Means control. has injured three people. The Biden administration is preparing to release over $1 billion to help states battle the effects of climate change. I got breaking into the cannabis industry, but that does not seem to be happening. Well, in Atlanta is officially canceled, reportedly over the state's loose gun laws. Ten Cleveland Browns quarterback Deshaun Watson has been suspended for six games without pay for violating the NFL's personal conduct. It's a very special day for a group of aspiring baseball players. They were able to receive coaching from New York Yankee star Aaron Judge. Fox 5 Jennifer Williams caught up with the outfielder about why he felt it was so important to participate in the voicing strong opposition to congestion pricing today. This after an MTA board meeting last week where all signs pointed to the project moving forward. Matt King has the very latest on this. Office. We got to ask Ryan how many times he had to do that pull up. <laughs> <laughs> One. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> no, right, right. Yeah. All right, that does it for us for now. We'll see you back here tonight at 10. Here's a look at what's ahead on the 6 o'clock. The death of top Al Qaeda leader Iwan, uh, Ayman Al Zawahiri is considered a major blow to the terror group. With his death now, all the main plotters behind the September 11th attacks have either been killed or captured. Sharon Crowley to help speed up efforts to get that outbreak under control. New York State made a a similar declaration over the weekend and earlier today, New York City, which has the most cases in the country, announced its own state of emergency to confront the virus. Our Christine Russo explains what it means when it comes to allocating resources. Polio was found in the wastewater samples in Rockland County. And Mondaire Jones, as he tries to switch the area he represents, are turning up the heat for the passage of the Comprehensive Toxic Act, also known as night tonight, but that's about it. We are expecting mainly quiet conditions overnight, and as I mentioned, the clouds will slowly begin to move back in here and tomorrow morning we'll start out with a mix of sun and clouds which will generally be the trend as we go through our Tuesday. There is a cold front in our vicinity that will start to push in here tomorrow afternoon and that could squeeze out and I see continues to push back against New York's congestion price sentence yet has been handed down for a capital rioter. A Texas man will serve more than seven years behind bars. The anniversary for an iconic New York City. Riot. Very cool. Summer Play Street is back.